All right, for this first video, I'm going to show you how to log into AWS Management Console, create a new server, set up the security, convert the PuTTY keys, uh, the PEM to a PPK, and essentially log in through PuTTY. Now, PuTTY is just a terminal that lets you log in and manage your server. So, as you can see, I'm logged into AWS, and I'm just going to say launch a virtual machine. So, I, it logs me into the, the virtual machine settings, and I'm just going to pick the free tier Ubuntu server 1804 LTS. Now LTS stands for long term support. 18 is the year and 04 is the month. So this one has been around for a little bit a little while, but it is the free tier. And you're just going to you're just going to say select. And at this point, I don't bother messing with anything else. I just say review and launch. I don't I don't mess with anything at all. And then I say launch, okay? Um it created a new security group here, a uh, new security wizard all automatically. I'm just going to click launch. Okay. Now here, select an existing key pair. We don't want to do that. Instead, I'm just going to say create a new pair. You'll probably just have a new pair. And I'm just going to say Fox. You can call it whatever you want just to know, so you know the name. And I'm going to say download that key pair. And notice that it says Fox.pem is the key pair. So that, that way you'll know... Um, what it is and it's just going into there uh, that this is the this is the key that will let you log into your server and I'm just going to click launch instance and you'll notice um, it says you know it's it has been launched and um, I can view my instances and <clears throat> this is the one I had before and it's terminated so it won't be there anymore and then this is the one that just got launched okay so this is the one uh, my IP address is going to be right here, 3.86.92.5, and my security wizard is here. If I click on the uh, launch the security wizard, this is kind of important for my inbound rules. Notice that I already have SSH TCP 22 already open for my inbound rules, so it's going to work with my um, with my putty, which is what I need it to work with. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to my instances. And it should be running. Here it is. It's initializing. But at this point, I can grab my PEM file and do the conversion so I can log in. Okay. So what I want to do is go to and get my PuTTY key generator. Now, you're probably saying, where do I get this PuTTY key generator? If you go back to my website, click on the download button and scroll down to where you see PuTTY, which is here. And click on PuTTY. You can download PuTTY here. Okay. That, that will give you the, the PuTTY that you need. And then there's also, when you click on it, uh, the PuTTY, there's an installer for PuTTY right here. And then you can come down here and look, and PuTTY Gen is right here. Now, you only use PuTTY Gen for one time, and it's just a download. And what that will do is it'll convert the PEM file to a PPK file, okay? All right, so now I'm going to show you how to use the PuTTY Key Generator. So the first thing you want to do is obviously get the PuTTY Key Generator, okay? And you want to load an existing private key file. So you click on the load button, and I went and put my file in the temp folder. And I know it's in desktop temp, but it says nothing is here. So what the problem is, it's only showing PPK files. What I want to do is say show all files. And there's the, there's the fox.pem. Okay. So I click open, and of course, OK. And it loads the private key here. Okay. I'm going to add a key phrase. Okay. And this will be somewhat make it a little bit more secure. And I'm going to say save the private key. So I click this save private key at that point. Okay. And I'm going to call it again Fox, but this time it's going to be a PPK file. And I'm going to click save. Okay. And then at this point, I can just close the PuTTY gen. And then I want to open up PuTTY. So in PuTTY, what I want to do is grab the IP address from my server. And then I want to add the security stuff. So if I go back to my server, the IP address is right here, three, I'm just going to copy that, okay, and I'm just going to paste that in right here, okay, and then I'm going to come over here to the SSH plus sign, and I'm going to I'm going to do the drop down, I'm going to click on off, okay, so it's in SSH and then off, I don't do the plus sign for it, I just click on off, and this is where I want to grab that private key, so I click browse, back to the desktop temp and I'm going to click on that private that PPK 
okay, Fox PPK. And that's going to load that in there. So when I click open, let's see if it will load right. You'll probably get this guy that pops up. And what this is saying is this fingerprint has not been inside your uh, local key ring. So the putty uh, doesn't recognize this. It's, a, it's just a first time deal. So no big deal. Just click yes. Okay. And then you'll get to this point here. Okay. Now <clears throat> on Ubuntu, the default username is Ubuntu. Okay. Click OK. Then it loads up that key. And once you have that key loaded up, you just type in that passphrase that you that you saved. Now notice I just typed it in. The cursor didn't move, didn't blink, didn't do anything. So it's working. It just doesn't do anything. You click enter and it logs in. Okay. So that's how easy it is. Okay. And and you can go back and watch this video a bunch of times, but that's all you need to do. Um, you just type in Ubuntu for the username, make sure that the key is loaded correctly and that it's a PPK file and that's it. Okay. At this point, I want to make sure I update and upgrade my server. So I do a sudo app get update. Now what this is, it's a Windows update. It goes out, it's a Ubuntu update, but it goes out and says, hey, are there any updates out there? Okay. And it says, you know what? There is. So it goes out and says, yeah, there is some. So now I'm going to do a sudo apt get upgrade. And that's actually, so I did update. Now I'm going to do upgrade. And it's going to actually go out there and say, hey, we got two, we got, we got a lot of downloads. Let's get these 59 of them. Let's update them. So, so it goes out and upgrades all of those. And it goes by pretty quick. And you'll see that, you know, obviously for when you turn your video in, you can make sure that this gets done, but just pause it. You don't have to record all this part. And, and then uh, you can go from there. So that's just a short video on how to get this fired up and actually work in Ubuntu using the command line.